Bagi yang nanyain Field Day kenapa nggak main? Suntik, suntik, ah suntik ya. Saya pasti banyak yang nanyain soal di comment section. Kenapa Field Day nggak main? Suntik, suntik. Get well soon. Dua hari, dua hari. Tanggal tiga belas sudah siap ya? Insya Allah siap. Lawan abang ya. Itu aja oke lawan abang ya. Ah, Teja Guntara, Teja Guntara. Good luck ya. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bye.
Yeah. Guys, we are here with probably the Haru Bandu guard, Christian James. Yes, how, you doing, man? how you doing, man? Good to see you, nice man. To meet you. Yes, sir. Before we start, this guy from Texas. Yep. I was just in Houston two okay. weeks ago. That Texas okay, I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that Texas barbecue is yeah. no joke, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Famous. Famous. Famous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we just got done with the scrimmage. It feels like a regular season game, man. It's so intense. No, it is. It is. <laughs> I think this year we got a target on our back because we won last year. But I think uh, that's good for us. It's going to help us prepare for the regular season. So, I mean, this is a, this is a good game for us. We look forward to next week. Yeah, next week, going to be more yeah. uh, scrimmages. And of course, this team has amazing chemistry. Yeah, yeah. How easy it was for you to gel and blend in with the team? Oh, uh, well, we've been here for just going on the third week. Um, I think playing with a guy like Dane uh, and uh, Big Fella Judy yeah. since that home. But, I mean, playing, playing, playing with guys like that, um, local and selfish players, so I think it makes the game a lot easier with uh, Bill Kimmich. And how is it playing under coach David Singleton? Oh, um, he's great. Um, he's great. He's a very systematic guy. Uh, teaches, the right, teaches us how to play the right way, defensive structure. Offensively, we got a lot of sets, so it's going to be fun. And what, what kind of role does he expect you to play for this team? Oh, um, well, he wants me to score the ball. I think I'm um, a natural scorer, but also get, me, get my teammates involved. We're uh, big on defense here, so we got to work on that a lot. Focus on defense and we get out of the run. We got a lot of talent on offense, so I think that'll make it easier. Do you feel like there's a lot of pressure playing for the defending champion? Uh, oh, is it weird? Yeah, I mean, you play coming in for the defending champion. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a target on our back, but it, it, it does nothing but make us better um, competition wise and, and it does nothing but challenge us to get better every year. So. And the regular season starts in like two more weeks, two weeks. Does, uh, did all the teammates tell you about the atmosphere at Borchitra? No, I mean, they told me, but I, they said it's different, man. They said it's, 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 it's going to be a sold out game, so I'm looking forward to that. And the fans, we're looking forward to y'all being there, man, uh, to help us pull those wins out, so it's going to be fun. Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, we play against Plita Ja, you know how, how much they they got yeah. three ex NBA players. Yep. Just what do you think about the competition in the IBL and the imports life? Um, I think this year has been a lot of a lot of uh, a lot more talent. I think a lot of guys from NBA, um, a lot of a lot of different guys from uh, Asia coming to yeah. big name players to help build the league, and I think it's good for the league. And you play in the Japanese B team. I played in uh, Japan last season. Last season, how was the competition? Can you just tell us about it a little bit? There's a lot of it's a, it's, it's a lot of talent there too. A lot of um, high level guys, a lot of ex NBA players, NBA and old NBA players. So. I mean, it's the same thing, I'm kind of used to it, so it's going to be fun. I know you are used to it because you play at University of yeah, Oklahoma yeah, yeah. with yeah, yeah. a couple big names, just like yeah. Trey Young, Trey. <laughs> Austin Reeves. Austin? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, tell me how much. I think I got one more, I forgot Buddy. one more. Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill. Yeah. Yeah. Just, can you tell us about that experience playing alongside Trey and of course, what are the things that you pick up from him and you still use in your game today? Um, I think those guys are very, very disciplined. You know, so work ethic, you know, just staying in a routine and just staying in shape. So, I mean, uh, that's, a, that's, that's the biggest part that, that elevates and tears people apart. You know, high level guys to mid level guys. So, I think that's a big thing. Um, Trey, Buddy, Austin, those guys all have a killer mentality. So I, think, I think that's one thing that I pick up on is very big. So. How is Trey, man, at practice? Maybe like, come on, man. Trey, Trey, from Trey, Trey, Trey's, <laughs> Trey's a Hall of Famer. Trey's gonna be a Hall of Famer, but Trey's special. Yeah, he is really special. Do you know that, in fact, you played against Prawiras in Port last in Brandon Francis? Oh, uh, he was the Trey. Texas Tech. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah he that's, played, uh, I think he played like two or three times. That's crazy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a small, small world. world. That's small such a small world. Small world, yes, sir. And, of course, one more thing that people might not know about you, you worked up for the Indiana Pacers. I did. And it was it was like a legend. Court side was Larry Bird Larry watching Bird. you working out. Yeah. How was that, man? Were you nervous? Oh, um, I ain't gonna lie. I, I kind of was nervous. I was <laughs> just sitting there, he was watching the whole workout, playing against guys like uh, Lamar Peterson or Tyler Hero. Oh, Tyler Hero, yeah, man, that's right. Going up, matching up against guys like that. So um, it was a lot of fun. But just seeing a legend there on the side, just watching watching this workout was special. Did you get Did you get a chance to talk to Larry Bird? I did not. I did not. No, um, I did not. You did not. But it was oh, cool. Man. It was yeah, really cool. He was, he was in and out. Like before the workout was over, he was out. He was already out. So I think he just came in to watch his workout. Then he got out. Okay, man. Yeah, I'll be like nervous. I'll be like, what's you up, Mr. Shoot. Bird? Yeah, <laughs> got a lot of air balls, probably. <laughs> but how, how are you though? Uh, adapting to the Bandung lifestyle? Oh, uh, um, it's different. Different from the US. Um, I, I love the culture. Though. It's always good and a blessing to to see other cultures. And, uh, just, just build from there. I think it's uh, I think it's great here. 
Um, this heat is different. <laughs> it's, it's, I thought Texas heat was crazy, but this is, this is very different. So, I mean, it's just getting, getting accustomed to it. I think it's big. Um, just getting to know these guys, a good group of guys, and a good, a good coach. So, let's do it. And um, now, I forgot my last question. Hold on, let me just uh, did, all, did a lot of probably our friends hit you up already on social media? Um, yeah, they showed a lot of love, man. They, they made me feel welcome uh, to the team, to the family, and uh, I, I really appreciate it. So, it's a lot of love. It's all love, man. Appreciate all love, man. Chris, Thank appreciate you, you man. Good Thank luck you. for your season. Stay yes, healthy, please. Thank you. We're really looking forward to watching, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. We are here with my boy Nigel Young from yes, Boomi Horn, uh, Borneo Hornbill. Borneo Hornbill. How you doing, man? Good, man. How you doing? Good, man. Good to see you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Another crazy huh? for a scrimmage game. Crazy for a scrimmage game, boy. It was intense here today. I tell you that. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the regular season? I can't wait for the season. I, I can, it's only gonna go to a whole nother notch, man. For I sure. know. And uh, Nigel, first time I Google about you, the first thing that came out, Nigel Young ruins weight night. <laughs> Eddie, uh, what did you remember from that night? And were you talking smack a little bit trash to maybe doing weight? No, I'm not talking no trash to a Hall of Famer. Okay. I'm not doing that. But no, playing against Zaire Wade's son and having him on the sideline, man, it was a great feeling. Uh, and Wade was there cheering, you know. Uh, I met him before in Paris, and the fact that he gave me a stamp, like, hey, yo, you a dog, you yeah. made my life, you know what I'm saying? So I'm cool. No, but that was a great night, man. It was fun, and I'm just a, com a competitor. And Wade is too. His son is a com competitor. It's a great family, man. I'm glad that they was able to come over there and check it out. Yeah, of course, you can see the headband. The, the BL, BL, BL yeah. Snap. And you got your buddy, yeah. Dane Miller Dane over Miller, there. Yes, sir. Can, you just talk, can you just talk about uh, your relationship with Dane? And were you surprised you guys playing together again in this league? <laughs> man, no, it's crazy. So, uh, obviously, you I've known Dane throughout the, the uh, throughout the basketball world. You, you, you hear names, you see guys pop up, but we got an actual chance to kick it yeah. in the BAL last year. And man, it's a great, a great guy, man. We, we're, we're like brothers now, you know what I'm saying? Then we got a chance to go to the K-54 okay. and hang out some more there, and our relationship just kept growing from there. And so now, man, and like I said, that's like my brother now. Yeah, man, basketball is a small world. Basketball is a small world. You meet everybody, you know everybody, man. It's a great, it's, it's a great game. Man. It is, and coming from NAIA. NAIA, yes, sir. <laughs> Texas Wesleyan, shout out to the Rams. <laughs> yes. Texas Wesleyan in the building. <laughs> Do you feel that play from NAIA has a chip on their shoulder and has more to prove than players that play in NCAA? Um, yeah, because it's not the same attention on the game. You know what I'm saying? So when you come to the NAIA, you assume that, oh yeah, no, this is a lower tier, but my year, man, this guys that transferred from high major schools to the NAIA because they can't go D2 because of the NCAA rules, right? So, I mean, in my Final Four game, we played a team that had 10 D1 transfers. That was a, a Division One team all the way around the board, right? So, at my school, uh, we had like three or four of them. So, it's not necessarily about NAIA, D2, NA, you know what I'm saying? It's, can you play basketball? If you can hoop, then you can hoop. It don't matter where you at, and there's killers on each level. D1, D2, D3, That's true. it don't matter. It's dogs everywhere. So, are you one or are you not? It's real simple. It's real simple. I agree with you. I agree with you about that. <laughs> dog, and, and Borneo is a very young team. Right. Uh, and people expect you to be in the top five. Uh, I know you are the vibe king. Do you want to know how, how's the vibe of the team, you know, heading into the regular season? Um, honestly, we couldn't have come to a better squad. Uh, from management to the local players, it's a great vibe. I'm all about the vibes, honestly, <laughs> right? So, no, but it's a great vibe, man. The coaching staff, the medical staff, they all make sure that we're comfortable. And that's the best thing. You get overseas and you hear people, guys, go through a lot of things here overseas. The fact that I'm on a club that really take care of us, they make sure that we got all the things that we need, they get us to and from practice, they make sure that we're fed. Like, I couldn't have asked for a better, a better spot to be. You know what Man. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful. very happy to hear that, you know. Absolutely. Teams, IBL teams have to take care of the players. They gotta take care of the players. How you expect the players to, to, do, to do their job if you don't take care of them, right? Yeah. And here at, at Borneo, from the owners to the coaches to the medical staff, they make sure we're good. They Man. make sure we're good. Man, I'm so happy to hear that, bro. Yeah, for sure. And this team, like I said, People expected them at least top five. At least this, top five. At least top five this season. You've been here for a month. A month. Yeah, about yeah, a good month. Yep. You saw you. You seen the team. You observed the team already. Yep. How can this team be special this season? Um, I think our our Indonesian players uh -huh. is what's gonna make us special. Okay. I think from the import spot, obviously, uh, we got good imports. All the teams got good imports though. It's NBA guys all around this league, so it's gonna be. It's gonna be some clashes there. I think our imports though, they play extremely hard. I love playing with them. They actually 
want to learn and want to follow instructions. So when I give them, give an order or say, hey, let's try this, try that, they are extremely uh, receptive of the information and it makes it easier for a guy like me to lead it and feel comfortable. Um, so I think they're gonna make us special. Daffa, Steven, Raymond, like they're guys that can really shoot the ball. Like we got shooters though, and that's what's gonna make it hard for make it hard for teams to beat us. And they don't mind picking up 94 feet and turning. Like it's we're gonna be a team, a team, a team to beat. You say top five, obviously my competitor says something different. You know what I'm saying? But I like that spot. I'm cool with that. Not cool bad though. It. It's, not, it's bad. not bad. Yeah, they got us in the playoffs, yeah. but I got us in the championship. So. Like you said, competition is crazy. Competition Probably is like crazy. six, seven, eight ex NBA players. No, what do you crazy. think about the competition level in the IBLs this season? Man, it's top notch. Like I said, I've been being able to play in the BAL against other top level guys, and then Australia League and other places in the. I mean, the NBA. Really? Yeah. So being here and knowing that every night I don't get to take a night off, you know what I'm saying? Every night there is a high level guy on the other end that's coming to compete, that's trying to get jobs and make their money, they money. So it's going to be, I love it. I can't wait for it. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm, <laughs> I'm stuck. I, huh? I got jitters. I, I, I can't even wait, man. I love the names. I love, I it. love that we got ex-NBA guys, guys that was in the G League. Like I said, it's high level basketball from the import spot all across the league and I can't wait to match up. I can't wait. Yeah, and talk about the import. You got you guys uh, you have two good guys yeah. next to you. Yep. How's the relationship so far? Oh I man it's great. We're all great guys. We're yeah. older so we've been through a lot. We understand uh, how to build a team, how how to win and things like that. So it's great vibes like I said. As long as the, the vibes is good, can't go out good. I'm Bro, good. I love your Instagram story. They're <laughs> going to mall from mall. Yeah. That was really Yo, funny. Though. Malls out here are crazy. Yo, it's crazy. <laughs> so out which here. one is your favorite mall? I don't know. I, I haven't been to a mall, yeah. so I can't say that yet. But so far, I like. Uh, man, I don't know, man. It's, it's uh, the, there's a mall not too far from here. Uh, okay, probably the Pacific, Pacific Place. The Pacific Place. Pacific Place. Oh, yo, crazy! Like eight levels. Like yo, yeah, what yeah, is yeah, this? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> so what's the plan for New Year? I'm finna go chill, man. I'm finna go maybe get a bottle of wine. Oh, okay. <laughs> love that. Yeah, I love that. Say, go, 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 go chill. But no, man, I'm gonna get back in the gym and uh, keep working. You know what I'm saying? Because the season is right around the corner, right? So I'm not gonna go too far off, off, off the schedule, but make sure that I'm still getting in the gym and staying ready for the season. My dog. Appreciate you. Good man. luck, man. Good Always. luck this season. We gotta support you, man. Yes, sir. Love. Angel Young, baby. Always.